hard to believe that the same company that makes the little Moto Chimp electric folding scooter is the same company that has created this, the Dendrobium as it's called, which is an electric hypercar by a company called Vanda Electrics. And the CEO of Vanda Electrics is here with me now. Hi there, Larissa. Hi, how really, do you do? Really good to, to meet you. Thanks for inviting us along. No problem. This is, this is unbelievable. I mean, this is seriously radical. So Dendrobium is a genus of orchids and okay. the Vander is actually Singapore's national flower. So with the car doors open, they open exactly like an open, a bloomed orchid. Oh, wow. It was always going to be an electric car. Um, the design hasn't changed much from the original sketch. Um, the teardrop shape is still there, as you can see. I love so the teardrop shape. Before we embarked on this car, we looked at uh, a few partners to actually work with in terms of the engineering support. And uh, we decided to choose Williams because they're the best at what they do. We have plans to go into production, but we're going to make that decision only after Geneva. I, I love the fact that you've got this and then you've got the, the Moto Chimp, which is just, it looks like two completely different ways of thinking, two totally different companies. Sorry, Larissa, I am going to get it. Go ahead. It. I can't resist it. <laughs> I just, I just think it's such a fantastic piece of design. But look at it next to that. This is all swoopy and, and aero and, and, and futuristic. And this is almost like, like you said, 1960s coffee machine. Could we, could we see the doors do their, do their thing? Yeah. Is that possible? Wow. Wow, so it all opens. So Ian, your job, you, you head up the Williams side of this deal, don't you? Yes, I do. Up until now, what sort of projects have you worked on that could relate to this? Well, I, I guess Williams Advanced Engineering started its first project was with Jaguar, the CX-75, uh, sort of a, a hybrid hypercar. Some of the tech in that um, came from Williams uh, doing Kurs, uh, sort of, so that was our start of, of electrification. Yeah. And I guess then we, we'd done the batteries for Formula E for the first four seasons, for the whole series. And, and that sort of moved us into this sort of space, so this whole electric vehicle space. Yeah. This car itself uses very similar batteries to Formula E, precisely what we're using the production car as batteries evolve so quickly, we're, we're still working on with Vanda. And is it, is it, um, is it a four motor setup, this car? Um, so the production car will be um, a sort of four wheel drive car. We're still looking at the precise motor configuration. So at the minute we're thinking about a, uh, one or two motors on the front driving through a single speed gearbox and then a two speed gearbox on the rear. Yeah. Um, probably with two or three motors in, in series on the rear axle. So it is, it is quite a compelling sort of story and I think it's quite a compelling car to look at and to experience. And well, yeah, it's got like a Le Mans face, a wasp's yeah. backside. <laughs> A bit of a bit of F1 chucked in for good measure. Yeah. A bit of Lamborghini DNA here and there, which yeah. is no bad thing at all. No. You guys created and designed the the, the carbon fibre tub because this is based around a carbon yes. fibre tub, yeah. isn't it? So so the, there's a carbon fibre. So I guess you'd call it a tub or a carbon fibre sort of sort of monocoque yeah. from a racing parlance, and then sort of um, front and rear uh, sort of aluminium frames um, to hold the propulsion system and the suspension. And is the suspension, is it uh, double wishbone? I mean, you can see most of the it, suspension it is, yep, through it. It is, it's a, it's a, it's a classic race, racing style suspension. Uh, am I right in thinking it's sort of 200 or more top speed? Yeah. Not to 60, sub two and a half seconds or something? Uh, some, somewhere probably just over two and a half seconds, 200 mile an hour top speed. And I guess the, 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 the bit we're still working on with Vanda is where to pitch it in terms of range. So do they want less weight, um, faster? Correct. Yeah. Or more weight, more range? Correct. So I, I guess the target market for this isn't someone who's going to use it every day. It's no. a beautiful thing to be cherished, you know? Well, it's a super, so, it's a supercar, I guess. So, so you're looking right. at what is a typical range of other correct. supercars? Correct. That's What's right. the typical mileage that people correct. use it for? I mean, one, one of the things that we do at, at Williams is look at how we can make cars lighter. So you, you could easily see a luxury and a something where weight becomes the ultimate, you know, so Pared you can do down. everything you can to strip out yeah. weight. As I know it's a concept and, yeah. and I know it's not using its final uh, no. drivetrain, correct. but where, where are its batteries living at the moment? Are they in the spine down here? No, the batteries are sat right behind our shoulders right now. So yeah. where, a, yeah. where an engine would be on a yeah. mid-engine? Yeah, correct. So it's, instead of mid-engine, replace that by mid-battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's your favourite aspect of the car, personally? 
Uh, Give me yeah, your, your favourite we'll aesthetic, a... <laughs> your favourite engineering <laughs> aspect. For me, I, I love the way the rear spoiler sort of, when you look at it from the side, sort of floats, yeah. which, which is a sort of a key styling cue for Vander. But I think from an engineering challenge, I think the roof and the doors. And there's quite a lot of engineering gone into that over the last few months. So. I mean, it is breathtaking the way that the, 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 the doors are what I would call them suicide butterfly doors. Indeed. Because yeah. scissors go completely yeah. vertically, don't they? <laughs> and then uh, a clamshell roof? I yeah. don't know. Well, yeah, and, 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 and asymmetric coloured seats, yep. which, which I really, really like. No, I, I, I think it's out to make a statement, but I think it's also, I'm convinced that it's got some engineering Sort of, sort of, sort of behind what it what it shows, you know, and yeah. I think that's what we try to do here at uh, Williams Vice Engineering is, is bring that engineering There's to substance. sort of to a con to a concept. So yeah. it, it's not just a, a model of a car, you know. It is yeah. something that we we have confidence in. And this is fabric. Is that a seatbelt nylon? Type? It, it is. It is that sort of thing. It, it's a so-called ballistic nylon. Yes, but it sounds so much so. better than seatbelt <laughs> nylon. This is your concept car favourite, isn't it? Yeah. Cameras instead of mirrors. Yeah as the drive to improve cars aerodynamics gets greater and greater for efficiency reasons yeah then i think there's no reason to not have cameras i think that from a vision perspective it's as good as mm. as having mirrors if we were to start the car up put it into reverse there's a rear camera embedded within the seven lights at the back oh, so that's the, sort of the yeah. hornet's tail yeah, correct how long does it take to create a, a like a one-off one car like this so this is just over 12 months so we first started with working with vanda in january 2016 um, so the first car's ready in just over 12 months. Wow, so. okay. Thank you for inviting thank me along today. It feels pretty you. special to Good. be one of the first people to see it and sit in it. And Good. Have you ridden the MotoChimp yet? I was the first person in the UK to ride a MotoChimp. No, Chimp. no way. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed I was. I feel jealous now. <laughs> what a great, great pit bike, right? Yeah, it'd, it'd, it'd be great in a pit. So bike. you've got some clout at Williams. Yeah, Why don't you say, this should be, this should be across the board, Formula E pit bike. <laughs> 